I think that was Klautos and Pixel Brew? I can't remember who did this, but it's very, very cool. I like it a lot. This whole build is just really cool. Uh, custom textures on the stained glass and stuff. It's cool and it works in this, this kind of build. I, I wish we had stained glass that we could use for ice on the ice tree, because I would really like to do that, but I don't think with all that iron inlaid texture we're going to be able to use them. Uh, hello, what pack are you playing with that lets you change the color of the chests to UI? This is a little taste of Vastin, very similar to a little taste of Germ. You can check that out at Germsy Boy's uh, YouTube channel. So go, go Google Germsy Boy on YouTube and you will find his latest texture pack video. Super, super cool. Astro Jake, I'm glad you're back. I felt bad. You asked a number of questions in my art stream the other day and I completely missed them. So if you remember the questions that you had about the tree, then let me know right now and I'll get to them. I was uh, I downloaded the VOD and I'm gonna be turning it into a time lapse. And in the process of just kind of like scrolling through it, I noticed a couple of questions that you asked in the chat because the chat comes up on the screen and I completely didn't see them at all yesterday. So I felt really bad. Cloudus, it was Cloudus and Grumpy. Cool, thanks Crafting Mantis. It's awesome having, having you in the chat, by the way, because it means that I'm not gonna get anything completely wrong. <laughs> or you'll at least you'll be there to correct me <laughs> uh, so inside here i think i wanted to go with see i dropped i dropped this down by one slab because i didn't want to do bottom slabs for this whole this whole floor because if i did bottom slabs then it really changes um your texture capabilities so i wanted this to be kind of like a, a platform on its own as part of the stairs and then have this be the ceiling height. The main reason for that was because when you're coming in from outside, I really liked this low ceiling here. Uh, it felt not claustrophobic, but it felt efficient. You know, it felt very military-esque. So that's why I did that. I'm de debating as to whether we're gonna have two sets of stairs. I think I'm gonna have another set of stairs on this side of this pillar as well. But also, instead of having it go up to the top, I think I am gonna just continue this over to that side there. Because uh, otherwise, I don't think that this platform ma makes much sense. So I think what we'll do is we'll expand this sideways here. Uh, is that weird column like the spine of the tree you want to build this season? Uh, oh, the column outside. Yeah, we can take a look at that. Uh, let's just go real quick. This is just to be the marker. So on the very first episode, which you can watch on my YouTube channel, um, fix it columned up to build height. And that's what that is. That's build height. Uh, this is the, I think, I think the pole is actually off by one. Um, the beacon beam, which you can barely see, that is the center, I think, of everything. Um, at least I hope it is, because otherwise the beacon is off. I can't remember. One of these is right. I think it's the beacon that's correct, because it looks like, looks like this might be off. I'm pretty sure it's 4,494, because I, I took a measurement from the beacon before I put this block down. So this is the, the frost tree uh, east-west axis. So this is directly above an end portal, which is like down at the bottom of the world. So we're gonna be able to use the tree as a, a way to drop down into the end. Uh, but this pole is just, it's just meant as a marker. The tree is not gonna be straight. The tree is gonna wind and maybe do some stuff, but this is just a height marker and a center location marker for that. Um, for that uh, end portal. That's the idea. And I think for the sake of the stream, I'm gonna just litter this place with with torches just so that everybody can see what's going on a little bit better. Because we're gonna take all this out. I can't. I couldn't decide. I was putting in some some cobble slabs just to be able to walk around while I was building. And I couldn't decide if I liked it or not. But I think I prefer the look of the the oak inside. I brought some dark um, some dark oak as well. Or so sorry. I prefer the look of spruce, but I brought 
some uh, brought some dark oak because I'm wondering if I might be able to to vary it up a little bit. Think I can still open a chest? Yes. Perfect. Now what did I do in the back here? Looks like slabs and fence posts. And then eventually another spruce. The center of Joel's tree, the center of Vast in season three. Uh, both, but it's not my tree per se. Uh, I just took the initiative to do some concept art for it. I think Pixel Brew. I can't remember who's in charge of the tree. Um, it's, I mean, it's going to be a group group project. I know Cloudhouse has some ideas. Uh, him and I have talked a lot about it. Um, so I will see. Crafting Mantis is on the server, by the way, Astro Jake. She's in the chat. Um, so if I don't get to a question, she might be able to, to answer it first too. Uh, I know we're going to need another stack of buttons, so I might as well make those now. Uh, let's move the bed. Move this up top here. Uh, let's put them here for now. Here maybe, or over there. Let's put them over there. Bed and crafting table. So this is a stair, but we'll use slabs. And then from here, I think it drops. Yeah. So then it goes down to that height. Wow, misplaced those. Oh, thanks, Cosmic Dancer. I, you know what? I should probably, we should probably do a command. I'll make a command because we're going to get that texture question a lot on stream, I'm sure. So I'll make a command to go in in the Nightbot settings, and we'll just call it. Um, maybe we'll just call it like Taste a Germ or something. I'll come up with something short, like Vast in Textures or something. So I think we're just gonna go solid like this because we don't. This is where we can't change really the texture without, with the exception of maybe using dark oak up here. We can't really change too much. Let's sleep, bring in some light. I don't know why we get that sometimes. We get a little bit of a damage knock. So what is the difference over here? That looks to be all right. Can maybe finish the stairs. I think I think I put stairs underneath there. Yeah, I did. That. And maybe the thing to do is to just temporarily spew items everywhere. Just do this until we find the chest. Oh, I had them. I had them. They were right there. All right, I'll just make another chest. Um, not like we're going to have too many chests. I feel like dark oak might be a lot darker in this texture pack too than I'm anticipating. Uh, let's just put you right here. And then we can just fire everything into it. There. That back, that back. 
and at least one of these. This. I really like the spruce wood texture that Jeremy Boy put together. It's, it's, I'm not sure. I have to. I haven't looked at it side by side with the uh, with regular stuff, but it looks good. Yeah, I'm up to four crafting tables now. It's kind of crazy. Hmm. What have people complained about in your pack, Astro Jake? I missed that. Missed that comment. So I'm debating as to whether we put this platform all the way to the back. The only problem is that it becomes quite boring because then it's the same texture. So I want to check to see spruce. I need some dark oak. I want to check to see what the dark oak texture looks like. I think it's going to be just too dark. Like this is a lot darker, I think, than even regular Minecraft. Yeah, like that doesn't blend at all. I thought we might be able to use it for like a slightly different texture on the spruce. Um, and it's a bottom slab. I just did the same thing. Uh, it's a bottom slab, so we can't use like stripped logs or anything like that. Well, I guess we could if we went up. If we went up to a full block height. Like what would happen if we went up to a full block height here? Uh, I don't like that either. It feels kind of claustrophobic. Don't know what to do here. I don't necessarily want to leave it open, right? Like, a, a, it feels like a giant waste of space if it's wide open like that. I mean, there is access back here, but like, there's nothing to do back here. So, I don't know yet what to do. It is funny that there's snow in here because the roof used to be open. <laughs> used to be open air. You know, maybe the stone isn't too bad. You know, maybe this is the one section where we we leave it as stone. Maybe we just fill it in. Just fill it in for now and see what we can come up with over time. Could also ask some other people on the server what they want to do. doesn't look terrible. I guess if that's the case, we could maybe do something like this. Round it out a little bit. Maybe one there. I need more spruce slabs. Whoops. Try to turn my light on and break this place. <laughs> Stephanie shows up in the chat room to remind me to eat. Can always count on it. So yeah, that's okay. Maybe this is the section. Maybe actually, you know what we should do. I keep on forgetting that the trap doors in Jermsey's texture pack are the same as the spruce texture. They're just like thinner, thinner planks. So I can do some more of those. We get six of these instead of two, which is nice. I just hate leaving things that look kind of like half done. That's okay. I'm not in love with the, I'm not in love with the, the floor, but it's, it's a full block level. So this could really be andesite and a bunch of stuff and what I'd like to do is have maybe like a fireplace or something else inside here too. That could be cool. Oh, cool. Hi, Kim. Thanks for tuning in. So the next thing to do is make even more of these trapdoors. And kind of pepper them throughout this part of the build. It's really hard to see though that I do over here. Kind of stuck to the edge a little bit. 
so let's see. I think this is could be wider, so we could probably put one here. Although maybe we'll change the angle. I think the idea was to have like a two wide, two wide gap. Looks like there's one here too. Like that. Something is not right. One, two, one, two. Why does this not look? Ah. Oh, it's because this has got the stairs to go behind. Okay. All right. That makes a little bit more sense. So I feel like what we could do here is maybe have this one also be a trapdoor. And then maybe this one too. I trumped Pokemon on Netflix. Wow. I'll take that win. High praise. High praise indeed. Okay, so that's feeling pretty solid. You can run up here and get to your arrow shoot in place and fire things off that way. Uh, I still don't like this. So what would be the better way to handle that? I don't want to just have stairs because that feels like a cop-out, right? Like it feels uninventive if we were just using stairs. Anybody have any ideas? Like I don't want this to be it. That feels lame. So maybe we can come out and do stairs like this. I don't know if that's a good solution because then we could alter the texture a little bit and have like the trap door thing there and then some slab slab do i need any more slabs one nice thing about building inside is that i'm within arm's reach of uh crafting table and then although we do stairs there stairs there. oh see we miss out on these textures if we cover them with stairs but so that feels a little bit more a little bit nicer and then hmm what if i did this that was not what i wanted to do what i meant to say was what if i did that that's not too bad feel like maybe why well, did not mean to do that it's so one thing I don't like about the new stripped logs is that you can so easily do that when you're trying to right click and place a torch so I feel like we should maybe have more intentional lighting because man it's dark in here we need to have a lot more going on because these torches are just ugly. I need to do something. Use carpet or moss stone or like a bear rug. Uh, I don't know where I would put a bear rug. Although, yeah, I mean, this is meant to be kind of like a military type place. So I'm not really sure what we could do there. I need to familiarize myself with the carpets too because some of the carpets have different textures. That's just annoying. Let's move the bed again. Let's just put everything over here. Where hopefully we will not get 
dinged when we come out. It really does change with daylight. The, it really does get dark at nighttime inside, but then when it's daylight, inside is brighter. It's got something to do with, with the way that Jermsey did the textures and the lighting and stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's good enough for now. It's not done, but I don't have the t I don't think I have the time to noodle around with all the different things I'd like to do in here. There definitely needs to be some sort of lighting down here, though. Well, again, we'll sort it out. It's not going to be torches. Maybe we'll have some sort of like brazier or something there. That would make sense. Uh, so now we need to do. I guess we'll just one button stacking a bit of buttons. So that'll be the last thing I think on the outside. I think this is going to be the, the tail end of the build. With the exact, with the exception of like landscaping and snow, but I'm not going to bother with any of that today because uh, that depends highly on the road and the slope of everything and what we plan on doing. So I will wait to talk with the other folks before we get into that craziness. Burlap carpet. Hmm. I don't know. What I should do before we end the stream is is take the the boat back to Vastin, not to Vastin, to I'm in Vastin. The boat back to Bray, because there's a block museum. I think it's in Bray. I'll look around for it, because that'd be kind of fun. We have been talking a lot about textures on the stream, so that could be a fun way to wrap things up. Almost there. Cool. I think that is it for the outside. So this was this was I would say three quarters done, maybe a little bit more, when we started today. And now it's a pretty solid finish to it. Obviously, there's no landscaping outside of me just blasting through some some of this hillside to reduce it. But that's what we're looking at so far. It's mostly andesite with some stone stairs and cobblestone stairs. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Hey, there's a bunny. Too bad we don't have a crossbow, eh, Cosmic Dancer? Uh, let's just pop inside and get rid of some of our inventory. And then we will go and check out the uh, the museum, the block museum. I think that's everything that I don't need. Put everything else back. Cool. So to go to Bray, we have to go to the boat. Well, no, sorry, we don't, not yet. We have to go to the docks. Hey, there's Pixel Rifts. What's going on, buddy? Were you streaming today too? Tuxedo Cat, wow. All kinds of new folks in the house. So we were working on this. For those that just came in, we were putting this together. A very aggressive looking squat entry tower. And there's another one. I'm not sure if we can see it. Let's take a, f let's, let's, let's just fly. Just because we've got some new folks in, in the stream. So there's one and we're going to have to do the other one at some point or maybe someone else <clears throat> on the server can can build it because building something a second time is always a little bit tedious yeah should be cool there's a couple of other houses and stuff that have propped up and let's take the boat or the button to bray i like that it makes the water noise that's fantastic uh so we are in Bray and let's, even though this will be, hmm, I was going to turn on shaders, but then once I go inside, it could be really dark. 
So let's just try to find this block museum. I have no idea where it is. I wonder if, do you know where the block museum is in Bray? Let's see. This is just gonna be cool to walk around in. I think it's one of these main buildings here. Haven't been there. Okay, well, we'll just see what we can do. Is there a, I should probably just take the minecart. Does this take me somewhere I don't wanna go? Wow. Uh-oh. Well, now we're pushing it. I forgot that that was a thing. Must get to powered rails. There we go. I think this is going farther than I want. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going. No. Wow. Oh. Not loading. <laughs> wow. I'm glad I didn't turn on shaders. This would have been crazy. I think I'm going a lot farther than I should be. Oh, man. Minecarts. Minecraft. Fix them. Please. Okay. End of the line. Nope. Get out. Oh, okay. I feel like we should have like dispensers and stuff maybe that might help i don't know if i'm in the right spot so let's look around for something big that could mean well there's some sheep something big enough to be a block museum this looks like a lot of wool i wonder if there's anything can i get in there yes So this looks like a lot of wool. Terracotta, nope. Hmm. I thought it might've been like a sheep farm or something. It's a little sheep farm. Flying minecarts, yeah, I wish. So let's just kind of cruise around here. That is really cool. I would like to do something like this on the Citadel and have it look really nice, you know? Be fun. That's a round window. What am I looking at here? Cyan stained glass. Huh. Okay. Learning. Learning, learning. Uh, I think I've gone way past where where the museum was. I saw it once in one of Fix It's videos. I realized I think I'm going right back the way that I came. But I thought it was near the main like the main blimp. Like maybe that's it there. It's a bit of an ice farm. Wow. This place is huge. Huge, huge, huge. What's in here? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Non-functional building. Well, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, that is nuts. Wow. I like this a lot. Oh, uh, fell down. All right. I was going to not fly, but let's see if we can't figure out where the block museum is. I thought it was one of these big buildings. Maybe it's this. I hate to fly around in here just because you lose so much when you're up so high. I think this is it. I'm pretty sure this is it from, from the video. Stay shut. I don't know what color wood this is, and this is super dark. Yeah, this is it. All right, cool. So what were we looking for? What were we asking? We were asking about carpets, andesite, polished andesite, diorite, granite, polished granite, 
stone and stone slab. They look the same. Red sandstone. Interesting. Chiseled red sandstone. Red sand. I think red sand on the beach in the frozen kingdom would be cool. It would mean replacing a lot of the existing sand, but I think it would look really nice. There needs to be more lights in here, guys. How am I supposed to look at blocks if I can't see? <laughs> uh, note block, piston, sticky piston, crafty bench, jukebox. Okay. I'm not even running shaders. Yeah, okay, this isn't going to be good for streaming at all to showcase stuff. I'm just going to have to come back in here on my own with like the brightness cranked or something. Um, were we looking at wool, wool and carpets? We were looking at that kind of stuff. I feel like that um, the real specific blocks are at the top level, if I can remember. The lighting is set to brightness plus five. So where was that? Brightness. So not moody, but just a little bit above. I'll crank it up for now. I hate playing at full brightness because it just looks stupid. Um, but this build is just so dark. Boats, trees, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Here's some real custom stuff. So white, wool, terracotta, stained glass, and concrete powder, it looks like. So light blue stained glass. Well, magenta stained glass is regular, so that's good. We could use that as a tree. And gray. Where's the light gray? Must be on the other side. Light gray. So light gray stained glass is out. It's this brown. Interesting. It's this light gray concrete powder is like wood. It's this cyan concrete powder, I think. Cyan concrete, not concrete powder. So that's cyan glass. This is cyan concrete. I guess concrete powder just looks like concrete powder, unless it's over here. White concrete, terracotta, wool. Interesting. I know they've got some custom textures. Where's the black wool? Because the black wool is like void block. It's got nothing. It's just like absolute dead space. Yeah, like look at this black wool. Like it is zero registry, just nothing. <laughs> That's cool. Really cool block for effects. Interesting. What's up, to, what's up top? see here. I am not in charge of the pack, Electric Echo. I will let Jermsy do whatever he wants. Uh, what is this? Glazed Terracotta. Oh, okay, cool. I've seen some of these in his videos. Oh, those are cool. I mean, I don't really use Glazed Terracotta anyway in my building, so changing these makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> Pardon me. I was looking for carpet. I thought carpet was different. Because so I think brown carpet is like a dirt texture or something. Hmm. Where am I? Did I go up very high? 65? Go up farther? Spruce. Yeah, see, there's the birch leaves. It's kind of cool. Birch trees are like what acacia looks like. That's oak. Jungle. J 
jungle is kind of like a greeny. That's acacia. So acacia is like a darker version of the birch. And yeah, dark oak is like super dark. Uh, where? I didn't see any carpets. I don't have any wool in my inventory to test them out. Ores, redstone. Hey, there's the gravel that I mentioned before. Bone block, uh, sandstone. This is what sandstone, Mo Yang should take mental note. Sand, sandstone. Hey, look, it's smooth, like it should be, <laughs> man. And there's the coarse dirt texture that I was talking about earlier. It's really cool. I like how they have the overlay. Um, quartz, 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 quartz. Nether stuff. Red nether brick is kind of like a rusty color. It's cool. Hmm. Well, I'm not seeing carpet, and I don't want to spend like ages looking for all this stuff. But do 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 do. Yeah. Oh, is there red sand? Yeah, I think this would look like really cool beach in the in the frozen kingdom. I think that would be super cool. All right, how do I get out of this place? There's a door here somewhere. Excellent. Yeah, see like I feel like this is really bright. Like I'm squinting. Whoa, no, and falling. I think I had it at five, but I'll leave it at 10 for now. Uh, I think that's it. And I think that this is a perfect spot to, to say goodbye, because if I can get a decent look at Bray, wow, that's insane. Because I think it's time for me to end the stream. And uh, thanks to everybody for stopping by, for hanging out. Cosmic Dancer, as always, thank you for moderating and all your kindness and awesomeness. And uh, everyone can check out the Realm of Vastin on YouTube. Uh, you can see my VODs there. I will be linking to all the other members, uh, including Crafting Mantis, who was in the chat today too. Uh, and uh, you can go follow them, see different builds from different perspectives. It's pretty from the cuff. A lot of people just kind of like stream slash record. It's not really a lot of edited stuff. It's kind of like from the hip, which I, I like. Uh, so most of my content is going to be uh, streamed and then chopped up and posted on, on YouTube later if you happen to miss it. So thank you very much for hanging out. You can follow me at Joel Duggan on Twitter and Instagram. You can follow everything I'm doing online at joelduggan.com. And I will see you next time.